Hello guys and welcome back. Today we are going to be doing the Cher tutorial where I'm going to try and recreate one of Cher's makeup looks and at the end I'm going to do like a inspired outfit from her and I also have a wig so we're just kind of going to go for the whole thing and everybody pretty much knows who Cher is. I feel like I don't really have to explain who she is. She's iconic. She's like a total goddess so I'm really excited to do this look. A lot of people wanted me to do her. It was kind of like head and head between Stevie and Cher for the first recreation video that I was deciding which one I was going to do. So I decided I had to do Cher next and so many people requested that one and I'm really excited to do this so I guess we'll just jump right into it. So first I'm just gonna start with the eyes and I'm using a blue eyeshadow because um, I've seen a couple looks where she uses a blue and I think that that just looks really gorgeous and it's very iconic for her. So I'm using this one which is this 24 hour color tattoo from Maybelline New York. And this is the shade Edgy Emerald. I got this a long time ago. I don't even know if they still make it but I really love this color. And I'm just going to start by putting it all over my lid and then... Um, just a little bit above my crease as well because we're gonna do like a cut crease kind of 60s thing that was really popular then. Alright, so that's kind of what we're going for. That side is all finished. Just kind of blend out that part a little bit. There we go. And now we'll just go on to the other eye. Okay, so we've got our bluish green down now. And as you can tell, I kind of just went a little bit above my crease here because that is also where I'm going to be drawing like the little cut crease line. So I kind of just tried to make it like a similar shape on each side. And right above that is where I'm going to lay down um, some black eyeshadow, which I'm just using this one from Maybelline too. And using the black like I said before and I'm just using this tiny little brush which I got with my Tarte eyeliner but I really like it for this kind of stuff better than the eyeliner so I'm just gonna start by making a couple dots to do like a connect the dots kind of a thing it's kind of easier to make a nice even line on both sides I feel like if you have it mapped out a little bit Okay, now I'm just going to go in and try to connect those dots. Alright, so now we've got the lines on there, and it's kind of a little bit splotchier than I would like it to be, so I'm going to take my eyeliner brush too, which is pretty small, and I'm going to use that black again, and I'm just going to go over that line, just trying to make it a little less spotty and um, just more defined. And I like to use this brush for the ends because I can make it more um, pinched together too. So it's got more of a fine tip and it's easier just to kind of taper off the ends instead of having like a bigger bulkier kind of a brush which just makes more of like a blunt end. Okay, that already looks better if you can tell the difference between these two. It does really totally make a difference. Okay, yay, I really like how that looks. Now, we're gonna use the same eyeliner brush and I'm going to 
do a little bit of some bottom eyeshadow. Uh, she kind of did a couple different things. One that I'm going to use, you'll see how it is done. It kind of reminds me of how Edie did hers. Like, if you watch that video, you'll know what I'm talking about. If not, you're going to see in a little bit. But otherwise, she also did um, draw on bottom lashes once in a while. But I feel like I do that a lot in my videos already. So we're going to do this other way that she did. And you'll just see. So we're just using that same black eyeshadow on this eyeliner brush. And... I think I'm going to start more in the center just because it's easier to do the ends when you have less product on your brush. But so I'm going to start in the center here, just kind of work my way out. And now I'm going, once I get closer to the inner corner here, to kind of start making it go a little bit off my lash line on the bottom. And going out like that, which is just going to make your eyes look more open. And I'm pretty much going to do the same thing on the outer side, but this I can uh, make it go off a little bit more than I did in the inner corner. It can just be more of a thick line out here. like so. Alright, so that is looking pretty good. Now I'm going to add some white to the inner corners of my eyes, which is the same white from this palette. It's kind of shimmery and just nice for this area. I should have probably done this before I did the black on the bottom, but you know, you live and you learn, so we're just gonna be careful. Great, okay. Now we're going to move on to the eyeliner, and I'm going to start using my liquid eyeliner here, which I use the Revlon one, just because. And I'm going to start with the wing, which I don't always do, but I just like to change it up sometimes and see uh, what is easier. I, you know, just sometimes some things work better than others, and... I like to keep things fresh, so I'm going to start with that. All right, so our wings are finished, and you're probably wondering, Devin, why the heck did you just stop with the wing? And let me just tell you why, because I feel like it's easier to make a straight line when I'm using a brush, so I'm going to grab that same brush that we did the bottom business with and the second part of the cut crease, and then I'm going to use this liner from Tarte, which is almost gone. And I'm just getting a little bit on this brush here. And then I'm just gonna connect it to the wing that we just made and I'm gonna go across my lid. And then I'm just gonna be bringing the inner corner all the way down make sure your brush is really flat for this or really small I'm just putting a tiny tiny amount of eyeliner on here too and we're gonna go all the way down past the inner corner of our eye a little bit all right cool so that eyeliner is looking really good now you can kind of see there's like a little bit of skin tone in between my lashes and the eyeliner here and to fix that, I always like to run my liquid eyeliner along my lash line too. 
and that fixes that. Now I'm also going to use a little bit of eyeliner on the bottom where we put that eyeshadow just to add a little bit more definition with that, especially on the outer corner. And then I'm just kind of moving what's left of my brush up into the inner corner. Okay, eyeliner is looking good. Now we're going to just put on a little bit of mascara. And then we're going to put on some lashes. Alright, so I just finished gluing some stuff to my eyes, as weird as that is. I used these lashes from Likely Makeup. They're the Blissful Baby ones. And... I love them, they're super cute. So we're just gonna let that dry down. And while we are waiting for that to dry, I'm going to start putting on a little bit of this concealer that I have because I am going to try and make my cheekbones look more defined since Cher had some like really rockin' cheekbones. And this is really a light color, so I'm going to just kind of um, use that as like a highlight, I guess. And you could do this before you do your eye makeup if you prefer to do it in that order. Alright, nice. Now I'm going to put a little bit of this translucent powder over top because I'm going to be doing a little bit of contouring as well and just to make sure that it doesn't like stick really weird on the concealer that I just laid down, we're just going to put a little bit of powder. All right, that should make a nice smooth base for the contour. And I'm using this contour palette from e.l.f. I'm gonna use this lighter shade first, putting it on this little brush here. I'm just going in like right underneath my actual cheekbones. Okay, now I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna use the darker shade in here. Alright, so that is looking good. Now I'm just going to blend it out a little bit. I'm just going to take that same brush that I used at the beginning. Okay, so I just realized I own no powdered blush whatsoever, which I'm really wishing that I did since I just put powder on my face. Um, but you know what? We're just going to make it work. We're going to be really careful and it's going to be okay. But I'm going to use this more peachy color than the pink that I typically do. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my finger. And then just kind of like tap it on my cheeks here. And tapping it is going to work a lot better rather than like smearing it around at this point since I just put powder on my face. Alright, that worked out pretty nicely actually, so we're just going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so that looks really nice. I was just really careful, patted that on, and turned out pretty well, so I'm happy with it. And that is actually the end of the makeup. Well, I'll probably put on a little bit of chapstick. Hey. Still filming? Yeah. Oh, nice. Hey. Hey, you done? Yeah. What about you? I'm almost done. I'm just doing my hair now and... Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Alright, love you. Love you. Okay, so I just put on a little bit of chapstick and now I'm probably gonna put on like a light lipstick shade since that was really popular then. And I'm gonna use this NYX lingerie one. Um, which is called Baby Doll. Yeah, cute. These are actually impossible to wear, by the way, because they make your lips so dry, so that's just a warning. I'm only using it because I bought it and uh, I'm doing it for the tutorial. And I feel like the chapstick underneath will really help. Okay, cute. That is the shade that I was going for. So now we're just going to start putting this hair up into a wig cap so I can get that thing on and hopefully look maybe a quarter of as fabulous as Cher does. <laughs> All 
All right, we are just about ready to put the wig on. I've got my hair all in the braids, and this wig was sent to me by Eva Hair. And um, before we put it on, I'll just show you guys here. It's on Lady right now, and we actually kind of match. Wow, I had no idea. We look like twins. Um, but you guys can tell me later who wore it better. Thanks to Eva Hair for this wig. It is so beautiful and seriously like super super long. It's gonna be perfect for this look. And they also sent me over another one which I'm probably going to use for, I don't know, like my Jean Shrimpton look? I'm thinking if I can make the hair cooperate with me. But yeah, this one is really perfect. I'm super excited to wear it. And we'll just put on the wig cap and then get this thing on. Oh my goodness, wow. Hey guys, it's me Cher. Don't mind me. Just like an icon, you know, it's fine. It's totally fine. Okay, I'm seriously feeling this Cher fantasy. Just gonna brush it out a little bit. This is transporting me back to my, uh, like 2016 days when I dyed my hair black because I fell in love with the Ramones and uh, yeah, we don't, we don't need to talk about that time. I thought that I had bought semi-permanent hair dye and I was like, oh, this is probably going to wash out within like a month and yeah, it, it didn't. Surprise! It didn't wash out, so just be careful. That's all I'm saying. Now that I'm seeing myself with the wig on and um, my eyebrows are like brown, I feel like that's kind of an issue. So I'm just going to put a little bit of the mascara in them. And I always use this mascara when I want to put it in my eyebrows just because I like this brush on here for that. That looks way, way, way better. Okay, much, much better now that we've done that. So, now I guess the only thing left for me to do is to put on my Cher inspired outfit, which I'm going with just one of her like 60s baby doll kind of dresses. I'll put up a picture like right here probably of the inspiration for this outfit. I have a dress kind of like what she's wearing. I know a lot of times she wears really cool pants and like matching pant and top sets. Unfortunately, I don't have any and I don't own that many uh, pairs of pants like she would wear. So we're just gonna go with the baby doll style dress because that's more of the kind of thing that I have. But um, yeah, I mean, there's lots of ways that you could go with this outfit she had a couple different styles and she really rocked all of them so I'll just put that on and then we'll give you the full effect. Alright so ta-da! Here is the finished look. This cute little yellow mini baby doll dress that I have. It is also vintage from the 60s. It's just got these cute little details here. Little flower trim with the kind of greenish blue beading and the buttons. And then I just have on these little white gray jeans too. So overall, I feel like this look was a success. I really, really like how the makeup turned out and the wig just totally uh, sends it home with the whole look. And that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you guys try this out. Let me know how it goes. Also, let me know if you would love to see me recreate any specific look. Just tell me down below and I will try to get to it. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.